Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 I keep doing this, it's just this My top 5 must-haves in my bags these days This is, I'm assuming, whenever I'm actually out just running errands or going out with my son or if I'm out and I have a really really tiny bag and I can only fit very very little things inside these are the five things that i must 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 carry first off is my wallet um, or card holder i stopped using wallets a very long time ago because i just find them very bulky so i've switched to these these are like card holders slash little like pouches they usually have like a little pouch for you to put some notes and all that and then they largely i put my cards in here so in singapore it's pretty much a cashless System. I don't really need to carry a lot of cash around and this is just super super compact This is the Chanel one. Um, I think they came out with it last year. It's the holographic one. It's really really pretty I like the padded feeling and the holographicness of it. It's very slim and it will fit in any like little tiny bag that you have As I'm recording this, this is the COVID-19 period in Singapore. Everyone's still um, kind of trying to take as much precautions as they can uh, just to be as socially responsible as we can be. These three items, I would just kind of lump it into one. Uh, but usually, I would just carry my Dettol uh, sanitizing antibacterial wipes. These are awesome. I used to carry them when I went out with Mika to just clean his hands or to clean like any... You know, if sometimes he's eating outside, I would use it to clean the table. I try not to get too excessive for him because I think some germs are good to build up his immune system but sometimes after you know like an hour of playing into the, in the indoor playground you kind of want to sanitize his hand. I found these very very useful they are very easy to use you just have to store them away um, but they are currently a very rare commodity so I am trying not to use too much of this. This is also a highly highly rare commodity these are pockets hand sanitizers. Between these two this is probably a little bit more convenient because you just have to kind of like rub your hands um, and then for this one you actually need to throw it away and it's wet uh, by the time you finish using it but these are like it's impossible to get um, right now I managed to get some uh, in the liquid form which I'm going to put them into small little spray bottles and carry that around uh, right now Mika is at an age where he kind of knows how to do this so this is actually quite useful this is not so much a rare commodity, I think the government has done a very good job to ensure that all Singaporeans or people living in Singapore have these. Uh, this are face masks. Uh, this one is from Japan, it's by the brand Uni Charm. We only use it when we are at a hospital or we are at a clinic or we are in places whereby it's very very crowded. I can't get Mika to wear this, my son, uh, but me and my husband do use it. So these are like just um, a few pieces that I just carry around with me in this package. Get. and if I ever go into like a very crowded place I would actually put this on next is a new found lifesaver for me these are feminine wipes so I <sighs> It's just life-changing. You guys all gotta check it out. This is the one by Lactacid. They have the ones that are individually sealed, but I find that this is much better because it has 10 wipes in it. They are very uh, wet <laughs> and they are very moist and they basically do a very good job of just cleaning yourself after you do whatever that you need to do in the washroom and they are flushable as well. So they are really, really easy to use and they prevent you from getting any irritation and all that down there so I highly recommend each lady should carry one of these packets in their purse it's life-changing for me okay, fourth item lip balm on days where I don't actually wear any makeup the only thing that I would wear is lip balm and this is my current favorite which I think is gonna go soon this is the NARS afterglow lip balm which came out actually only last year and each of these it's quite pricey it's about $40 but I do really really like it a lot it does do a good job in hydrating your lips and I keep saying that in this in all my videos but I have a purple one which I can't wait to whip out once this finishes the 
whole packaging is very compact so you know it takes up very very little space in your wallet last but not least I have to have my mints um, I don't I, I don't think I have the freshest breath like I don't think anyone has the freshest breath all the time so before I meet someone or before I go into a meeting or before I go and start talking to someone I always make sure I have pop a mint in my mouth and this is my all-time favorite the Eclipse mint and I do like this flavor a lot which is in spearmint all right so those are the five things that I must must have in my bag no matter what occasion no matter what bag I'm using uh, these are five essentials that I have to have I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye